Hello, amigo. It is I, your favorite Mexican wrestler, Rino Crunchy. <laughs> Hi, guys. I had too much caffeine this morning. I'm, I'm just so excited, okay? I, I'm in a good mood. I feel aggressive. You know, we just came off that loss from the, uh, from the solo squads or the Hitman Challenge, as I like to call it. I have to say, today's episode is going to be a little bit different, okay? I know a lot of you still haven't got your W yet. You haven't got this shiny new umbrella. So I want to help you, you know? I'm going to try my hardest to just really focus on talking about my strategy and why I'm doing what I'm doing so you guys can kind of understand. I like hitting this building. It has potential for like three chests. As you can see, there's one in the doghouse right here. And then we're gonna push inside right away. Break the stairs out. Just, you know, stand there and get shot in the face, dude. What are you doing, bro? A lot of blues. I hear another chest. Ooh, we got a sniper. This is gonna be big. All right, so we're gonna smash the stairs. Ooh, we got a blue, uh, blue pot too. Beautiful. We're gonna smash the stairs. We're gonna drink this immediately. And we're just gonna, honestly, we're just gonna play for picks. I don't know if you guys play CSGO, if you've heard that term. But that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna hang out in this house. We're gonna set up shop. And we're just gonna play for picks. Look for, look for opportunities to strike, basically. We're not going to play too aggressive early game because this is still, you know, you, as you can hear in the background, there's people still bleeding everywhere. So we want to, you know, we want to wait till they're down to like one pint of blood and that's when we come in and we shoot them once and kill them. So we're just going to chill up here. We're going to play for picks. That's all we're going to do. I got this, I got this semi out of sniper. Still, eh, it, it's 50-50. I prefer the bolt. I like shooting people once and watching them die as opposed to like four times. But you know what? Beggars can't be choosers. I'll take it, baby. I'll take it all the way to the end if we have to. It's better than no sniper, that's for sure. What is going on? And, you know, you just, you can stand there too, man. Just give up. Just as soon as you take fire, just go ahead and give up, dude. We're still going to chill on this, actually. You know what? Le I think it's safe. If he pushed up there, it's probably safe over here. Just kidding. There's one more. Let's grenade him. Let's flush him out. The shotgun zergs. Right, we got to get up top and drink this right away because people are going to be pushing us. They hear all those shots. They hear all that commotion. They're like, ooh. Kind of like what we were just doing on the other house. We want to drink this up right away. Beautiful. Full health, full shield. We're in good position right now. Again, I'm just going to really be patient on this. I'm, gonna, I'm just waiting for people to reveal themselves. Pushing the house. Like this guy. You know, one of my favorite things to do in, uh, in Arma in most games is snipe. And, you know, sniping, like, it requires a lot of patience. You're constantly fighting yourself. You're constantly fighting the urge to, you know, like, move or, you know, it's just constant duality. And you really just got to be patient. That's all it is. The key is patience. Let them come to you. Let the fight come to you when you can. Other times, push them. I don't know. It's weird. It, don't listen to me. I don't know what I'm talking about, okay? Sometimes you got to be aggressive. It's like a fine balance. There's another one. He's, he's picking guns up. Where's this guy? Oh. I think we're being shot... There's one inside and there's someone else over there. This is bad. 
Yeah, I don't like this fight. I don't I don't like this. I'm gonna back out. I don't know where this dude is. I can't tell if he's basement or first floor. Still changing guns out. Alright, we're gonna back out of this fight because I know there's there's another sniper, I think. We wanna get this other sniper. Just be ready to spam walls too. That's another thing. I'm, I'm just waiting to get shot at so I can spam walls down. Now we're going to wait for this guy to push out. We just got to be careful because the circle is pushing in behind us. And whenever the circle pushes behind you, people are coming normally. Wow. Thought that was good. Looked like I hit him. I don't know. Maybe it's lag. Come on, buddy. Where are you at? I'm just going to stay moving around here. I don't like camping the tree too hard. I'm going to be ready for a fight if someone sneaks up on me. Oh, there he is. Oh, baby, he's so lit. Yep. Oh, there he is. I see him. There's our sniper. Oh, man, that was a headshot. It looked like a headshot. Apparently, it wasn't. I think the headshots do like 150 or something like that. We suppressed them a little bit though. That's good. All right, let's get some walls down. Get this stuff. And then we're going to dip, dude. I don't like this fight. Uh, I don't like this fight right here. I shot. If anybody's in the area, they heard me, so they might be pushing me. Also, the sniper knows where we're at. We have a tree for cover. He has the whole city. And he could just hop in a window in a building and shoot from the inside and wreck us. So we're gonna we're gonna back out of this. Tactical retreat. I wanna get on top of this hill up here and see if we can spot him. So we'll build a little sniper nest on the top of this hill. Just kind of police the area. This is such a great spot, by the way. If you've never been up here, I highly recommend it if you can. It's got a great view. Look at this view. Let's heal up a little bit as well. So one of the things I really like to do is, uh, you know, map navigation is probably one of my stronger suits. And that just comes from experience. I think everybody will learn that. Just Arma and Rust and just using the map to your advantage. And so like right here, this is a this is a choke point from anyone coming from behind us. The factory, we're also it's like a right between the factory and right between retail rows. So people are gonna have to filter behind us in some form of another. So we should see people coming out of retail or the factory. Really want to spot the sniper though. I don't think he has a bolt. He might. He might have a semi-auto though. little too much uh, leading on that shot. What is this guy doing? He did. Stop making me laugh! Oh my gosh! I'm... I still need practice with this gun. Those all looked good to me. We're gonna move positions because we just gave away our position. And plus, the, the zone's coming in a little bit. Map knowledge is key, too. It's just experience. You know, a large majority of uh, getting the getting your win is it's just going to take a lot of games. Like, I didn't win my first game. I got second place, though. But I, play, I, I played a lot of Battlegrounds, so that's why. So, 
Map knowledge is huge, so you know all the weak points of the map, you know all the strengths of the map. And gunplay, like gunplay is huge too. It's just gonna take time, that's all. Just, like I said, jump retail row, jump Pleasant Park. Fight, 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 early game fight. Die, rinse, repeat, get to know the guns, get to know, you know, get comfortable with all the guns. I'm still not comfortable with the semi-auto and I have like 100 hours in this game and I still don't feel comfortable with the semi-auto rifle. And the burst fire. I'll take a SMG over a burst fire. That's why you never see me pick them up. I just haven't learned it yet. It, it you know, it takes time. That's all. I need materials, so I'm just using this time to farm up for end game. It's always big. You want to go into the final few circles with a lot of resources. That's walls. That's that's uh, vertical flank towers. All good things. Now we're going to rotate. See, this is just a little map trick right here. I don't want to go down towards the warehouses to our left. I'm not taking the shot either. I'm going to rotate on this hill. You see, so to our right up here they can't see our movement it conceals our movement there we go let's double back and get this guy's stuff I think he'll be in the zone I don't think that was our sniper we're still looking for our sniper I don't know where this dude went he's good he hit me once and then he didn't like when I was on top of the house, he didn't do anything after, so that he has patience. This might have been our sniper, actually. No, because I think it was a guy. Ah, <sighs> there he is. Wow, that was close. So one of the things that I'm personally really bad at you guys may not be bad at this, just as a little tip. Every time I take damage, my little loot goblin inner self comes out and I just ignore everything else in the game and run straight for whatever's purple or orange. So you wanna avoid that. You wanna, you wanna wall and heal immediately after every fight. Because if you don't, people are gonna do what we were doing earlier and vulture the kill. You want to be fresh after every fight as quick as possible. And those few seconds while you're messing around drooling on some legendary you found could have been used to heal up and kill the next player that runs up on you. Okay, so we have a few options here. I know this area. Circle is going to be right ahead of us. It looks like it's going to be in tomato, uh, whatever the hell that place is called. So we're going to go up on the ridge right here to our right. It's a great spot. I'm surprised someone hasn't taken it yet. There's only, what, 10 people left? Yeah, this is going to be a really, really good spot for us, especially with the sniper. Elevation is key. By the way, guys, you have been absolutely killing it on the... Uh, like my like requests, like I asked for 20 likes in one video, you guys did 20,000 likes. <laughs> like literally 20, are you, are you guys crazy? That is so nutty, dude. That is crazy to me, man. Much love, dudes. I don't have any codes for you, okay? Don't, don't get your hopes up after I said that. You guys are like, oh, here he goes. He's about to drop some codes, but No, I don't. I, oh God, incoming! Oh, I fell. Well, rip our base. Thanks a lot, jerk. That's all right. We're going to take care of you in a minute. We just got to watch behind us. We got to push this guy. Wow, the bloom is so bad. You just got to spray, man. Like, you can't tap fire with this gun. It's crazy. Vertical flank, guys. 
Up and above this dude. Let's go. That was close. He had an RPG. I thought he was going to kill us both at the end there. I'm so surprised that he switched weapons. I'm so happy that this guy switched weapons. I thought it was over right there. And we're taking shots from somebody else. But yeah, if you guys, you know what? If you guys want to see some keys in the next episode, just go ahead and, uh, you know, if you're still watching, if you didn't fall asleep to this uh, boring commentary. I know I'm not. I'm just trying to teach people how to win, okay? For everyone else who's won, you're like, we already know all this stuff, dude. But it's for the guys who still have their glider, okay? Anyways, uh, you know, I don't know. Something like 100 likes for this video, and I'll throw some keys in the next video. Like I said, guys, I can't. I'm not a rich man, all right? I. You know, I, my car makes noises when I drive it. Okay. It's a used car from 2001. All right. I'm not like balling, dude. I'm not rice gum. Okay. If I was, I would give so much back. dude. Get wrecked, bro. Oh, we're on point today, dudes. This is so good. Where's this guy? I don't want to blow his freaking house up. Where are you, buddy? Oh, there's someone else up here. Another sniper, man. These snipers, dude. I don't... It looks like a bolt, too. We gotta be careful. Get him once. Of course, he's gonna duck down now. I'm just gonna hammer him with the scar. I'm gonna blast this guy's house if he gives me the chance. Just don't wanna waste my rockets. <laughs> All these shots look good to me. I'm just terrible at this game. That's all. All right, we're going to suppress him. Part of the reason I did that is like the intimidation factor. So he knows I'm not messing around. Like, you hear rockets being shot at you, you're a little bit, uh, you know, your butt cheeks pucker. At least mine do. I don't know about you. You guys might be cold as ice, you know what I'm saying? Like some hitman shit with the straight face. But me, my butt cheeks pucker, baby! It's a huge intimidation factor. It's like the it's like the LMG in uh, Arma 2, or Ar even Arma 3. You're just hammering that thing. People are like, ah! All right, so we're going to get on this hill. We're going to take this guy's spot over. I don't know why he didn't build up. It would have been much more beneficial for him. I don't see anything good down there, but I see something good up here, boy. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. We got an airdrop. We're not going to be able to build anything because I wasted all my resources. There should be some resources in the uh, airdrop. I'm just kind of waiting, making sure no one's lurking on my mountain right here. All right, we're going to blast his cover. We're kind of handicapped right now, guys. This is bad. I'm handicapped. I can't build anything. Dude, what's up with the bloom? This is crazy. You just gotta spray, dude. You gotta spray full auto. Let's knock this out too. He might be under here. Might be GG. Well, wherever he is, he's not showing himself. He might be in that hut over there. He knows, man. He knows I'm not messing around. Seeing those rockets fly across the circle, boy. He's in a bush. <laughs> he's not building a base, that's for sure. Another scar. Let's go, baby. Shield. We got resources. Let's just 
do this real quick. We're going to drink this blue jelly. And then we're going to push in. Wherever this dude is, he's hiding. So we have to be really careful for bushes. He might be down here, actually. Nope. Another airdrop. Like, anybody's going to go for that this late in the game. And that's how you get the W, boys. Woo! Man, I hope this helps some of you guys. I, I I don't know, man. That was like, I don't know what these people were doing. They were they made it really easy for me, you know, crouching like that, not moving. Um, so I hope some of this helped, guys. If it did, again, you know, 100 likes, that'd be awesome if we could get to that. I'd appreciate it hitting the like goal. And that is it my crazy little crunchies that's all i have for you today i hope i hope it helps some of you i hope you get that win man like honestly i hope you guys get the win it's gotta suck to play the game so much and not get a win i i know the feeling i still haven't got the hitman challenge completed so we're gonna get there though we're gonna get there like i said man in like six months from now like we're gonna be nutty at this game we are going to be nutty and I can't wait to make that journey with you guys. And again, just thank you guys for all your support. Um, you know, I'm working on my 500,000 video and you guys are already bringing me up to 600,000, which is just, I, I have no words. Glory be to God can be the only thing I can say. Um, and I hope that I'm, I, I'm spreading his message accurately. And I hope that you guys don't find offense in the name of Jesus. And I hope that you tolerate people. Even if you don't believe what I believe, I hope that you learn tolerance. And I hope that you learn that uh, God is good. God is so good. And that's it. He, he's just good. There's nothing else to it. God is good. And he loves you. And I love you. And have a wonderful day, guys. God bless America. God bless you. God bless bless this game i love it boy i'll see you in the next episode dudes peace Mátalas por una sobredos sin de verdura asfixialas con besos sin dulzura contagialas de todas tus locuras Mátalas con flores con canciones no les falles que no hay una mujer en este mundo que pueda resistirse a los detalles.